Devin McCourty won't be able to join us, but our next guest is a 10-year NFL vet. He led the Patriots last season with eight sacks, but more importantly, he's now a Super Bowl champ defensive end. Rob Ninkovich, thank you so much for joining us. That sounds nice. I like that. You I like figured that? you'd say that. Like, I figured you'd say that. There's a good ring a to of, it. A lot of hard work uh, going into that one. So, you know, again, I'm excited to add that to the resume. What's your chances of repeating? Wolfuck's gone. Revis is gone. Brown is gone. What's your chances? Starts right now in training camp. You know, again, this is where you put in all the hard work. Um, you know, this is this is where it starts. You know, when you put in the, those long days of training camp, put the pads back on. Uh, you know, it feels good to be back out here with my teammates, and uh, you know, I'm excited. What's the mindset of the team right now with this whole Deflate Gate suspension hanging over the? the really, issue? you know, just focus on what you can do. Um, you know to be a better football player you know for me every day coming in doing the best that I can um, to be a better football player even at year 10 you know I'm still learning still trying to progress as a defensive end and uh, you know again it, for me it's exciting that you know all that stuff happened last year but it's over with and uh, you really have to you know close that book that's over with start a new book and uh, you know it starts in training camp all this deflate gate stuff how much of a motivational factor do you think that's gonna be for the team this season you know again it there's always motivating factors, uh, you know, for, for teams and, you know, for my personal goals, you know, I'm always motivated, you know, every year I'm motivated to go out there and uh, play to the best of my abilities and, you know, continue to, to carry on, you know, that Patriot tradi tradition, which is, you know, playing good football and, um, you know, being a willing, winning team. What do you see from Tom Brady right now out here on this practice field? Any different? Is he more gunned up than usual, or he's just same old Tom? Tommy's always gunned up. I yeah. mean, you know, Tom is a tremendous competitor. Uh, you know, no matter what he's doing, he's, he's competing. He's trying to be the best of what he does. So, uh, you know, every day he comes out here and, you know, he hides, holds everyone to a high standard. And, uh, you know, that, that's what it's supposed to be like, you know holding everyone accountable. Troy Brown was just on our desk and he described him as pissed. <laughs> is that fair to say? You know, again, like I said, Tommy is a tremendous competitor uh, and he's always competing and he's always trying to be the best at what he does. How much will you indeed miss a Revis and a Brown? You know, again, every year there's going to be uh, turnover in the National Football League. You see it in every single team. Um, you know, there's guys coming, there's guys going, and, you know, really, you just have to adjust and you have to, um, you know, work hard in training camp with the guys that are here and move forward. I'm, you know what, I think somebody's got a chance to knock y'all off. That's right, I said it, I said it, I said it, bro. I said it. Guess what, I'm oh, looking at it. We, went to, we were in Florida Park, New Jersey yesterday. I know they don't have, I know it's quarterback questions. Buffalo, New York, to a lesser degree Miami, but I think how tough it might be in the AFC East might be a little bit tougher than you're accustomed to because of the dominance that y'all have displayed. One last six uh, uh, AFC East titles. You know, there's always, every every Sunday is a tough football game. You know, every, every team in the league has tremendous football players. So, you know, to be a good football team, you have to practice well, you have to put in the time, you have to put in the effort. And, you know, I feel like we do that every year. You know, we put in the time, we put in the effort, we do the things that you need to do to win in this in this league. So, you know, again, this year's no, like no other year. You know, we're just going to come out here and we're going to work hard and we're going to, you know, go out there and but play good it, football. But isn't it fair to say, Mr. Nikovich, that it's really about the fact that you have Tom Brady. That's why y'all ain't worried. Isn't that, isn't that fair you to say? You know, again, Tom is, a, Tom is a tremendous quarterback. I love Tom as my quarterback. And, uh, you know, again, he's going to compete. And he's going to do like he like he always does. And that's that's be Tom and play at a high level. Okay. Stephen A., this is the perfect New England Patriot. This <laughs> yeah, is the perfect Belichick. Yeah, right. I totally. mean, you adapted yeah. to the Patriot yeah. way. No, no, no. That's, that's who he is. That's who he is. I'm not mad at him. You, you can just pepper him with questions all day long, and he will continue. Well, we're running out of time, so yeah. I can't. I wish I could. I wish I could, because I got some hey, questions about I'll that be defense. Here, I'll be here all day. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Got to take it game by game. That's, that's right. He can One do that. One game at a time. That's what happens when you're a Super Bowl champion. He yes, congratulations again on that. And our uh, tour is over, guys. Back yeah. in Bristol on Monday. I want to say happy birthday to our producer, Brian Bork. Thank you so much. How old is he, 50? Yeah. Is he 50? I no. think it's a I think milestone like one. I think it's dirty 30. Yep, I put you on blast. Yeah. Sorry there. All right, back from Bristol, ESPN2 on Monday. Thank you to the Patriots, the Jets, the Bills for having us, our little AFC store. And thanks you to both of you gentlemen for being wonderful as always. Have a great weekend. Thank you for making Thank it you. out here, man. Thanks, Appreciate man. it, man. Thank, Thank you so much.
This next story is one I really don't like having to uh, have to report. Unfortunate situation again here. 49ers linebacker Alden Smith arrested Thursday night for hit and run DUI and vandalism, according to the police in Santa Clara, California. This is Smith's third arrest for drunken driving. He was suspended for the first nine games of last season for violating the NFL's personal conduct and substance abuse policy. Stephen A., it's becoming a pattern. Your reaction? What do y'all want me to say? I mean, I'm so sad for this brother. It's terrible. And what I'm about to say, I'm not proud of. He obviously needs help. He needs to be in rehab. But with all due respect, not before he spent some time in prison. This is his third DUI arrest. It is the third time you have endangered human beings other than yourself. True. It's at least the second time. I'm, I'm sorry, it is the third time. Mm -hmm. But one of those times, if I remember correctly, he was out there 7 in the morning while kids were about to go to school, mm -hmm. waiting by the little bus. So just imagine, just imagine for one second, you're a parent out there, yeah. and you walk your child, or your child is at the bus stop, they're seven, eight, nine years old, or whatever the case may be. Who in God's name is expecting a drunk driver to be riding around at 7 o'clock in the morning? And that was his last offense. And by the way, I think he only served 11 days of community service, or whatever the case may be. Enough's enough. I, I usually reserve these comments for criminals. I would never say that about somebody who has a problem, mm -hmm. which clearly he has. He has a problem with alcohol. But the fact that you continue to get behind the wheel, this was not just a DUI charge. This is vandalism as well. There's a hit and run charge yeah. that took place. This brother got to go to jail, man. He does. I, agree I mean, I, 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 I hate to say this. I'm I, I, I'm sorry, there's so many brothers that I know in the league, and when I say brothers, I'm talking black, white, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm talking everybody. There's so many brothers in the league that I know, that I'm cool with, and I know how I'm going to be looked at. Now, I'm, I'm about the business of saving lives. Yeah. You can't have a dude that's getting behind the wheel on multiple occasions mm -hmm. and endangering the lives of others, not just himself. You can't have that. And this and, and this is what he is doing. Mm -hmm. So he needs to go to rehab mm -hmm. and get help. But the first order of business, because last time I checked, I don't think they serve any brew in jail. Yeah. This brother need to be behind bars. Mm. He need to serve he need he need to do a few months. Mm. You know, where they close in the cage and you behind bars. You ain't gonna get a drink then. Make sure you use that. To become sober. Yeah. And then when you get out, go get your counselor. Don't, don't even we notice I ain't even bring up football. I ain't even bring up football. There's no way in hell that Alden Smith should be playing this upcoming season. No. He should be playing this upcoming season. I mean, I said that about Sheldon Richardson because of the heinous, he but you know, just just talking to him yesterday, all of this other stuff, you know, I, I look at it and said, okay, four to eight games might be better. But Alden Smith, behind the wheel. Drunk again? Mm -hmm. Now you got you got to go to jail. You got to you you, you got you. I'm sorry. Get He's got now. to go to jail. So at what point do we quit calling this story sad? Because I keep hearing, oh, it's so sad, and and I get that. It's, but but at some point, it's a good point, Skip. It's just sorry and bad. It, it, it's. I think it's sad if someone has a problem that they have okay. a problem if they're suffering from alcoholism. I think it, it's sad. Okay, but at some point, he needs to be held accountable yep. as, as, as you started to do there. I'm so with you on this because this brother at one point was considered maybe the best pass rusher in pro football. Mm -hmm. He was such a game changer that, that he has been coddled and he has been enabled to continue to fail and fail and fail because he feels he's entitled because he's so gifted that he says, I got this and I got it again because they're going to have my back because they need me so bad. Now they need him because 
the 49ers are just flat out crumbling before your very eyes. Yeah. And it, it hurts me. The sad part to me is is our guy, Eric Mangini. I consider him a friend. I love uh, Eric. I, I've had my clashes with and him, I'm, but and, I love him. And, and I'm I respect happy him. and proud of him that he's back in the NFL. Yeah, and he's the new defensive coordinator right. of this. Yeah. With this, yeah, somewhere he'll today. make it work. Yeah. He'll make it work. He, he'll somehow. make it work. But trust me, when he heard this news, I assume earlier today, mm -hmm. he, he fell off his chair. I, I got all these problems, and I got that. I, now I'm losing this guy. Well, it's it's that sense of arrogance. I'm above the law. I'm entitled. I'm above society. I don't play by the same rules you people play by. You know what? That could be it, Skip. Or it could be that he just really, really has the problem that you that that yeah. that you've highlighted in the mm -hmm. past. He only had two sacks last year, and it was in the same yeah. game. But I will tell you this: Mad Mothers Against yeah. Drunk Driving, you got it, and other organizations. You know, I, I mean, they speak against this religiously, and they do fantastic work. And mm -hmm. I got news for you: for a lot of people out there that want to sit there and look at somebody like myself and say, "My man, you know, give the brother a chance." No, he's had multiple chances. And keep in mind, when a car hits you yeah. because somebody behind the wheel is drunk, yep. that car and that driver does not see color. You understand? Mm -hmm. It can hit somebody black just like it can hit somebody mm -hmm. white, just like it can hit somebody from any ethnicity. Yep. I don't give it. This guy needs to be behind bars for this. To piggyback on both of your points, and I don't want to qu quote Chris Carter here, but when he was cut, didn't he say that was the best thing that ever happened to him to get his life together mm. and get his career? He was lying. <laughs> what, what else is new? What, what, what? I'm so surprised. Somebody stood up there and looked at the cameras and said, I am healed. I have learned. I, have, I know. I, no, what I'm saying is that by, by not being able to play, by going to jail, by going to rehab, that that can benefit him in the end as a player, as a person, to get his life back on track. Well, I guess what I'm saying to you, Molly, is that's why I brought up jail. Because after he went through something like that mm -hmm. last time, and just in terms of being suspended, just in terms of being out of the game and yeah. having to do community service, he looked in the camera and said... Well, I'm agreeing yes, with that's you, That's what though. I'm saying. I know. I'm just saying that my point is that's why I bring up jail. Because that's when we'll no, because like I said, I don't think they serve brew behind mm -hmm. bars. Yes. Yeah. And I'll also point out, I do know a couple of guys that have reached out to him and mentored him in the league and, and former NFL players as well, tried to work with Alden Smith because he is such a special talent. And I know this is, don't want to be insensitive, but to bring it back to football, they lost four of their last five. There's a lot of issues there. They have a new coach in Jim Tomsula, so a lot going on there in uh, San Francisco. But we're in New England, and more first take after the break from Foxborough.